We praise you, Lord, Jesus. We thank you for everything. We are covered with your righteousness today in our body, soul, and spirit. We pray that by the power of the Holy Spirit, our life will shoot forth the righteous fruit of your presence. Guide our hearts, for it is the spring of life. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Monday, July 15, 2024. This is Love War, taking you upon heaven, a guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an evil language. Hallelujah song will never cease to our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is the law of righteousness. The law of righteousness. And let me first I may find the book of Proverbs 21, verse 21. I read He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness and honor. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness and honor. The law of righteousness is one law that many people know but hardly comply with. It is simple. Obey God and you will excel. The Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Jesus put it in this way in Matthew 6 verse 33. I read, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. If you seek God's righteousness and seek to do things that are right in his sight, without a doubt, the material things that other people are seeking will begin to pursue you and overtake you. This is law that cannot be broken. When my father in the law, Joshua Akendayomi, was alive, he used to say that it is what your father has that he will use to take care of you. Romans 6 verse 6 says that whenever a person hid himself or herself to obey is the fellow master. This means that if someone obey the devil and commit sin, the devil will take care of the fellow with what he has. Also, if the fellow obey the law and live righteously, God will take care of him or her with what he has. The devil has nothing else to offer than to kill, steal, and destroy. John 10 verse 10 If anyone obey him, that is what he or she will get. If you obey Christ and live in righteousness, the same John 10 verse 10 say that what he has to offer you is abundant life. Beloved, there is absolutely no gain in sin. The things that look like gain or sin are actually bait of devil. When a hunter is trying to catch an animal in the forest, he put the animal's best food inside a trap. When the animal tries to grab the food, it gets trapped. Beware of whose food you are eating. If you have to compromise on God's word to get that food, it is only a trap for the devil to destroy your soul. Whatever hunter used to feed their cat is nothing compared to what they will take from the cat. The devil will never give you anything without collecting more from you. Obey the law of righteousness and you will enjoy the blessing of God. Ready? I want us to read the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to 15, and our Bible in one year, Isaiah 4, verse 8, our hymn in 10, in Christ alone, in Christ alone. Our key point for today, righteousness exalts you, why unrighteousness depends you, choose wisely. Righteousness exalt you why unrighteousness they pursue you choose wisely and i pray by the special grace of god everyone will guide you through the journey of your life in jesus name amen brethren 
This is Love World. Click on your way tomorrow. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button. Share with your friends and family. And goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. And bye for now. God bless you. I've been away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.